In this activity, we will compare the electrical conductivity between salt water and sugar water. For this activity, we need a glass of sugar water, a glass of salt water and a test circuit. In this circuit, we have a cell and a bulb. One end is connected to the bulb and other end from the bulb is kept open which acts as a cathode. The other end from the cell is connected to the screw which acts as an anode. If I connect both these ends, the circuit is complete and the bulb glows. First we will put these two open ends in sugar water. The bulb doesn't glow. Now we will put these two open ends in salt water. The bulb glows. When salt or sodium chloride is dissolved in water, it gets broken down as sodium and chloride ions. These ions are dissolved in water. This solution is called ionic solution. These ions are responsible for the conduction of electricity. Such compounds which get decomposed as ions in water on their dissolution are called electrolytes. Sugar does not decompose into ions and hence it doesn't conduct electricity. Such substances which do not decompose as ions on dissolution are called non-electrolytes. This solution which has no ions is called non-ionic solution.